ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ டுடே இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் தி வெரி பேசிக் அண்ட் த வெரி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டைமர் இன் ஜே மீட்டர் விச் இஸ் தி கான்ஸ்டன்ட் டைமர் ஸோ ஐ வில் ஷோ யூ ஹவு டு ஆட் தி கான்ஸ்டன்ட் டைமர் டு தி ரெக்வஸ்ட் அண்ட் ஐ வில் ஷோ யூ ஃபியூ எக்ஸாம்பிள்ஸ் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் தி கான்ஸ்டன்ட் டைமர் அண்ட் ஒய் இட் இஸ் யூஸ்ட் so first let's see how to add a constant timer so here i have a thread group and under the thread group i have a http request so to add the constant timer i am right clicking on the http request i go to add and then the timer where i add the constant timer which is the very first option we can see in the timers so i'm choosing the constant timer and here for the timers you can see the thread delays are in milliseconds so it's 1000 milliseconds is just 1 second and if you really want to experience the real time evolution i would recommend you to use at least a uh, 20 seconds 20 to 25 seconds of think time which is almost 20000 milliseconds so for now for this example i'm just giving you 5000 milliseconds which is 5 seconds so that i can show you how does it work and how does the constant timer works so let me clear the previous request i'm saving it now and i'm going to the view results tree and i'm starting the test so here if you see on the right side top the right side top corner here you can see for every 5 seconds i'm getting a request so yes so that's how the constant timer works so when it comes to the other timers or if you have used think time in your new, uh, load runner or new load the constant timer or the delays work only after the request because even here if you see the constant timer is below the request but still it takes the 5 second before even executing the request so that is the difference so in fact if you are using this constant timer please be aware that the constant timer works even before the request starts so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add another request to the thread group so it's going to be the same one so i'm just going to duplicate it for now so i'm having the same setup so i'm having a http request here and then another http request here at the bottom so now we have two http requests so let me clear it and i will show you how does it work so i'm starting the test again and coming back to the view results tree so at the fifth second i'm getting the first request which is the http request to and then after 5 seconds i'm getting the second request so same way the request will start to execute because for the first time the first request here takes 5 seconds to hit the server and then after that this constant timer the constant timer in the second one comes into the picture and it make the request to wait for 5 seconds so after the 10th second the second request has got executed so that is how the constant timer in jmeter works so what is the benefit of using this constant timer so this this constant timer actually gives the performance tester to design a comprehensive and reliable performance test and that provides insights which is which really closely mirror the user experience in fact it stands as an indispensable tool in the performance testing set of techniques and it actually delivers a precise and actionable performance assessments so previously we saw about another timer which is the let me just open it here so previously we had a video on constant throughput timer so the difference between the constant timer and the constant throughput timer is in the constant throughput timer we can see that we can set up the throughput that in case if i want to have 100 request in a minute i can set up 100 request in a minute so that this particular request will hit 100 requests but at the same time if i'm using the constant timer i can hold or i can make the request to wait for a particular amount of time but when it comes to the 
constant throughput timer even here i'm making the wait but still the waiting time or the user time or the user think time is distributed based on the throughput and not by the seconds so even in fact we can achieve the hits using both the timers but still the way of achieving it is different and in fact i have missed to show you one more thing in my previous video and in fact one of our subscriber had even had that issue because he was trying to run multiple apis concurrently and when he or she is trying to run it and when i advise them to use the constant throughput timer so it worked at a situation where they were using where they had multiple thread groups and not in the same thread group so in fact many of the performance testers has a doubt that they want to run the test concurrently but the mistake that they make is they keep all the http especially the api request one after the other so if you want to really run a concurrent test please make sure you are using different thread groups because all the thread groups will start to run concurrently and you can emulate the real-time situation simulation wherein where in this case you should not keep one after the other so in this case i will show you one quick thing so let me disable the constant timer and this request also so here now if i run this request so i'm going to hit 10 hits in a minute so even I can make it as like 20 hits in a minute let me save it and let's see how does it work for now so let me start so for every three seconds oh sorry okay yeah. so we are going to achieve 20 hits per minute in the first minute so let's wait and see how does this constant throughput timer works so in this scenario i was able to achieve 24 hits in a minute so now what in this case so the previous scenario so one of our subscribers so they were trying to achieve this so let me enable this and instead of constant timer so let me disable the constant timer and i will add the constant throughput timer and we will try to achieve the same one so here 20 and let me change this to 20 here and let me save it and what if we run this test so what does it happen so i'm running the test now to the view results tree so here you can see the request okay let me stop and let me change the name for a reason so that we can understand what is happening I'm saving it again and then if i run the test so here you can see even though i used constant throughput timer for each of them but still they both gets the hit this is next moment like for every so let me so here you can see um go to the summary report so 18 hits or 20 hits in 30 seconds so which is when you are using the constant throughput timer in using multiple requests so you may not be able to achieve so in case if you are using the constant throughput timer for every single request you can achieve what you really think or you can what you is your real requirement so in case if you are using this in a for multiple requests so in those scenarios i would recommend you to use the constant timer because they actually emulates the real-time scenario and in fact they give the proper break between or proper thing time between each and, each and every request but here this constant throughput timer will definitely make some confusions because the one which we wanted to achieve and the one that it is giving is completely different so in those scenarios please make sure you're using the proper timer to achieve the proper hits so with that i come to an end so until i meet you in another interesting video it's bye bye from vasan shanmugam and little slaw